objectives, and question answers of the lesson, How Plants Survive. Class 4, Science To watch the lesson explanation of this lesson, click the link given in the description box. Fill in the blanks. For each question, you will get two options. Plants on the mountains are usually dash and have dash to multiply. Flowerless and cones. Plants growing in deserts store water in the dash, which becomes fleshy. Stems. Leaves of underwater plants absorb gases, dash, directly through their dissolved in water surface. The juice of dash gives us gum. Acacia dash gives us medicines. Tulsi Choose the correct options. Which of these can grow in areas of less rainfall? All of these. Which of these is true about trees that grow on mountains? All of these. Which of these help plants growing in swampy regions to breathe? Breathing roots Where do saprophytic plants get their nutrition from? Dead plants and animals Stems of which of these plants would you use to make baskets and walking sticks? Bamboo Which of these refers to dry lands that receive very little rainfall? Deserts Why do we find coconut trees in coastal areas? Because coconut trees can survive in salty water. How do some plants survive underwater? All of these. Give two examples for each of the following. Plants that grow in areas of heavy rainfall. Rubber. Teak. Plants that grow in deserts. Cactus. Baboon. Underwater plants. Tape grass, pondweed, insectivorous plants, Venus flytrap, pitcher plant. Give one word for the following Plants that grow on land, terrestrial, plants that remain green all year round. Evergreen Plants that grow in water Aquatic Plants whose leaves are modified to trap insects Insectivorous Plants that cannot make their own food and absorb nutrients from dead plants and animals Non-green Question and answers.
What are terrestrial plants? Why do different kinds of plants grow in different regions? Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. The requirements of different types of plants vary considerably. Some need hot regions while others can grow only in cold regions. Some need more water and some can survive in scarcity of water. Thus, we grow the crops or plants according to the habitat in different regions. List any three features that help desert plants save water. To save water, the desert plants have the following features. They do not have any leaves or have very few of them. Photosynthesis is thus carried out by the green stems. They store water in the stems, which become fleshy. Most plants have spines or thorns which further reduce the loss of water. Why do plants in swampy areas have breathing roots? In swamps, soil contains less nutrients and poor oxygen content. And it is difficult for plant routes to breathe. Thus, plants in swampy areas have modified roots that grow upwards known as breathing roots. What are the different kinds of aquatic plants? The three kinds of aquatic plants are floating, fixed, and underwater plants. What are insectivorous plants? How does a Venus flytrap catch insects? Plants that are carnivorous in nature and trap insects are called insectivorous plants. Venus flytrap has leaves that are like boxes and hinges. They have stiff hair like structures on the inside of the leaves. When an insect touches the hair, the leaf snaps shut, trapping the creature inside. Write a short note on useful plants. A large number of plants and their products are used for the well-being of mankind. They provide us with food, clothing, and shelter. They also provide raw materials for many industrial products. Many of the useful plants occur in nature in forests and a good number of them are cultivated for food and industry. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.